Tonight, Mayor Adams continues to try to reassure New Yorkers he's done nothing wrong as multiple federal investigations swirl around his administration. And he insists that they will not prevent the NYPD from keeping New Yorkers safe. The mayor spoke to reporters today, including our political reporter, Marsha Kramer, who asked him about the police commissioner's future with the department. What do you have to say, Marsha? Well, Christina Maurice, Mayor Adams is in quarantine in Gracie Mansion after he tested positive for COVID, but he insisted that answering questions about the ongoing federal probes of key members of his inner circle was too important to cancel his weekly session with reporters. I call it the best defense is a good offense. I would never do anything to betray your trust. After nearly a week of swirling questions about federal raids on top administration officials, including Police Commissioner Edward Caban, Mayor Adams addresses New Yorkers directly. I realize that these investigations have raised a lot of questions and a lot of concerns. There are some serious matters that must be addressed. I was surprised as you to learn of these inquiries and I take them extremely seriously. Surprised? Yes. Answers? Not very many. The U.S. Attorney's Office itself uh, has made the request not to uh, share information or details about their investigation. A question asked over and over again during the mayor's hour-long session with reporters was the fate of the police commissioner and whether he will step aside. I communicated with the commissioner yesterday, and you know, as I've always stated, I don't go into private conversations. And whatever uh, new changes in administrations, uh, that an administration that will be made uh, when they come about, we will we will announce them. Are you worried that Albert Caban's continuing position as police commissioner is a distraction? And would you rather have someone else run the department while this investigation unfolds? I am not concerned about the professionalism of the NYPD, uh, Marsha. Uh, we have uh, witnessed how well they operate with so many things taking place at one time in the city. This is a professional operation, and we're going to continue to drive down crime and keep New Yorkers safe. The raids also involve First Deputy Mayor Sheena Wright, her partner Schools Chancellor David Banks, and Deputy Mayor for Public Safety Philip Banks, David Banks' brother. Sheena Wright speaking for the first time about the raid on the Harlem home she shares with the Chancellor. I just want to say, first of all, I remain committed to serving New Yorkers each and every single day. I am cooperating fully with any investigation. I'm confident that I have done nothing wrong, and um, I just remain committed to doing the work. Now, the mayor says he intends to serve out his term and think another one. I'll have more on that coming up at 6. And a programming note, school chancellor David Banks will be my guest this week on The Point, right Sunday morning at 11.30 on CBS News, New York. All right, Marcia, thank you.